Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. Had a little bit of a hiatus, uh, mainly because it was Thanksgiving and I had a bunch of family members uh, in town, so I'm back to it and I got a couple of sculptures ready for you and this is the first of many to come. So, this is the first of my Yu-Gi-Oh! monster, or dual monster based sculptures. As you can see, I got my little Millennium little sculpture I made here. The first sculpture I technically did was this, which was my Yugi slash Atem head bust. I've seen this in a couple of my videos, including my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! nostalgic card reveals, which if you want to see those, go click them and check them out up here on the top right. But uh, here is the first full monster. Now this monster is indeed, which can best be described as the most valuable and most popular dual monster of all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Anytime this card gets printed or reprinted or reprinted again, it becomes the most valuable card to ever be. And, uh, and of course, that monster is Seto Kaiba's ace monster. Everyone knows what's coming next. Prepare for the white lightning that is the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Check this out. Have to be careful with this guy. This sculpture has been a little bit uncooperative, not too dissimilar from the actual dragon. But here is my sculpture of the blue eyes white dragon. As you can see, unlike the anime, because in the anime and in the manga, the blue eyes white dragon isn't actually blue. It's more of it's more of this color, really kind of like a light blue, almost like a crystal kind of color. But uh, I've decided to go with the version from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Dark Side of Dimensions, which was the last movie that came out back in 2017, where the Blue-Eyes White Dragon was actually white. And uh, I've added the blue accents, such as the scaling underneath the neck, the claws, and then of course the head, which is the most distinctive part of the blue eyes. And there, it's beginning to charge up its white lightning attack. What an amazing, what, a, what an awesome, what, a, what an iconic creature this is, the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Of course, with many different forms, including its fusion form, when you fuse all three blue eyes together, you create the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And there's also the Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, which is actually based on a fusion of two Blue Eyes White Dragons, but not the typical Blue Eyes. It's actually the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. There's a bunch of different forms of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, but I went with the went with the most iconic. I mean, goodness gracious, if you have a first edition version of the original card from either the original Legend of Blue Eyes set, or if you have the original card from Seto, or from a Starter Deck Kaiba, boy oh boy are you sitting on a gold mine. If it's in good condition and it's a first edition, that card is worth thousands of dollars. And I used to have one when I was a kid, and once again, kind of like I did with the Pokemon cards I had when I was a kid, I got rid of them thinking, you know, hey, it's time to grow up, but man, I do regret getting rid of those cards. Have that. Look at that. You got the scales on the back. You have this little sort of horn section right here, which has the tooth coming out. I gave it the blue teeth as well, and of course, the iconic blue eyes. And of course, there's the there's the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. There's also the Blue Eyes. Let's see. There's a couple of different Blue Eyes models. There's the Chaos Max Dragon, which is a, if I'm not mistaken, I think that is a rich. That's the Ritual Blue Eyes. And then there's the M Blue Eyes Malefic Dragon, which was used um, in one of the later seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, I think it was used in one of the movies where you had both Yugi Moto, Jason Yuki, and uh, Yusei from 5Ds. They were all together, and it was kind of like a time warp sort of movie kind of thing against a character named Paradox, who used the Blue Eyes Malefic Dragon. And that was a sort of modified version of Blue Eyes, but this is, without question, one of the most iconic, and of course, the beat stick of Seto Kaiba and his, I guess his style of dueling, which is all about power. He wants to have the most powerful monsters to just completely dominate the field and render the other person's deck essentially useless, of course, with cards like 
you know, crush card virus, and of course, polymerization, combining the blue eyes together. And then now with later on in years, there's actually a lot more uh, support cards coming out, like Lady with Eyes of Blue. There's the Blue Eyes Egg, and there's also the Blue Eyes Chick card, and there's also the many different forms, like I've said before, about the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And of course, in the very first episode of Duel Monsters, Sato Kaiba went to Grandpa, U Grandpa Muto's game shop, tried to get the fourth Blue Eyes card, couldn't get it, and then eventually beat him in a duel and then ripped the card right in front of Yugi. So that he, so that no one could use a Blue Eyes White Dragon against him, which would be interesting. Imagine if, if Kaiba didn't destroy that card, and imagine if you were able to combine four Blue Eyes together. I don't even know what that dragon would look like, but who knows? Uh, leave a comment down below. I, I, I do want to, uh, I want to do a sculpture of certainly the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but I may want to do other ones. What if I did a four-headed Blue Eyes, like a Blue Eyes Hydra or something? I don't know. Um, leave a comment down below if you think I should do that. I think that would be a really awesome, that'd be a really awesome sculpture here. Let me, uh, let me show them from the back. Man, it took me a while to get all of these little scales down. As you can see, I got the wings here in the back. I have, uh, an armature wire holding the wings up and the neck and the tail. That's why you see how it's not drooping down at all. And I have this base down here kind of holding his body up. These little segments, man, they took me a while. The funny thing is, is that it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the segments... In, it has the segments in the main body and the tail, but not in the neck, surprisingly enough. It just has the light blue scales like I put in there. And uh, let's put them in another pose, shall we? There we go. There we go. We'll bend the head down this way. God, that armature wire really does make this a lot easier to work with. I have, uh, I have a spool of it right here. This is the armature wire that I use. Very thin gauge. It can literally be trimmed with a pair of scissors or a pair of toenail clippers, really. There's the pose like he would be if he was on the Legend of Blue Eyes uh, trading card. And man, I do... Getting back into this and also watching a lot of Ruxin34 videos where they're going after. And he's there every... I call them rare hunters, the people that collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because it just, it just makes sense. They're looking for the rarest and the best of all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And uh, the Blue Eyes is certainly the most sought after, because it's... I would say, besides the Dark Magician... That would have to be the most I the dark uh, the blue eyes would have to be the most iconic. I think it's the most iconic creature in the game. Maybe even more so than the Dark Magician. What do you think? What do you think is more iconic when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you think the blue eyes is more popular, or do you think the Dark Magician is more popular? I don't know. Personally, my favorite monsters uh, growing up were, of course, the fire types, like I've been doing on my card reveals, and. Uh, and one of my favorite cards actually was uh, it was a card used by Merrick Ishtar called the Lava Golem. I have that card. I, I want to get that card, and I, I hopefully I'll, I'll hopefully by the time by the time I post this, maybe I'll have already gotten it. So I don't know. I really do want that card, the Lava Golem. That one's one of my favorites. But uh, but the Blue Eyes. What do you guys think? Do you think the Blue Eyes is more iconic than the Dark Magician? I don't know. But uh, stay tuned. Soon enough, my Dark Magician sculpture, it is it is actually done as well. So I'm going to be recording a video on that. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to leave a like down below. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. So you don't miss the next video. I've got a couple of these Yu-Gi-Oh! sculptures coming. And of course, a couple of sculptures coming from the, uh, from the God of War series. And a couple of randos here and there. I kind of like my sculpture of Huggy Wuggy from Poppy Playtime. I'm, I'm so happy that that got such a such a great response. And if more chapters come out and more creatures come out, I'll do some more sculptures from Poppy Playtime, but uh, we'll see. In the meantime, this is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see all of you on the next Yu-Gi-Oh! Sculpture Showcase. <laughs>